why is Congress making so many self goals? My quick answer, because they don't have a story. If you don't have a story, then you have to make it up. And you are trying to make it up, a lot of mistakes happen and the path to destruction just follows very quickly after that. Is this what is happening with the Congress party, the grand old party of India? Well, let's take a quick look. I'm going to go through a few utterances by various leaders and how that has actually damaged their prospects rather than helped them. Here we go. At the top of this food chain is their leader, their youth leader, uh, Rahul Gandhi. He's already in his 50s, but they still think he is a young leader. He started the ball rolling by saying that if INDI comes to power, then they will conduct a financial and institutional survey to ascertain the distribution of wealth among the people in the country. The survey will be conducted apart from a nationwide caste consensus to ascertain the distribution of wealth if voted to power, said Raga. So this was the first missive saying that we are after you, we are going to find out how you made your money and then we are going to distribute it. And to distribute it to whom? Well, he gave an opening and Prime Minister Modi took it. He said he just connected what Manmohan Singh had said in 2006 and again a little bit later emphasizing that the minorities have the first choice of India's resources such as the Muslims. He was very sure. I mean, he emphasized this. You would have seen that thing in one of my monologues. Now, that as if that wasn't enough, then he goes and sits with a bunch of villagers and he starts saying that the IIT JE entrance examination papers are being set by members of the upper caste and therefore the lower caste cannot you know, succeed in these texts. Then he also goes on to say that there was a similar test con um, conducted in, in the United States where the scholastic aptitude test was conducted and there they found that if the whites set the paper, the blacks didn't do so well, but then turned it around and if the blacks set the paper, the whites did not do so well either. I kind of question this thing. I don't know where Mr. Pitroda got this thing because this is not something that uh, Rahul Gandhi would have conjured. Somebody must have done the research for him. And, you know, even the other thing about inheritance, inheritance tax that I'm going to come to in just a moment, it is just an exception case, not the rule. And, and Petrola tried to make that thing and blow it out of proportions. The whole idea here is we are the party of the poor and we are going to take the money from those who have actually earned it and distribute it to you. Pure communism that just drives down any country into the ground. Today, you know how many actual communist countries are there? If, if I have to answer that question, there's only one, North Korea. Everybody else is in some form of capitalism. It is shrouded sometimes as if there's a single party system, but whether it is Russia or Cuba or China, these are all some sort of autocratic rulers who are, you know, they, they don't... Uh, yield uh, uh, power and they just, they are, till, till their death, they are ruling. That's what happened. Then, of course, Mr. Manishankar Iyer, not to be confused with Sri Iyer, displays his love for Pak. He says, India should give respect to Pakistan as it has an atom bomb. If we don't give them respect, they'll think of using an atom bomb against India. You know, if that is the truth, they would have used it after Balakur, right? India went into Pakistani territory and bombed the heck out of there. Of course, the way it was bombed, the building was left intact. It was a people who suffered asphyxiation and died for want of oxygen. This bomb actually goes and sucks out the oxygen from wherever the premises it is dropped into. So that's what happened. Of course, they are still denying that anyone died. But there have been uh, conversations that have been captured where they have said that 200 plus people have died and so on and so forth. The bodies that landed at the local hospital, for example. Now, all these things are on one side. Now, Mr. Pitroda says that inheritance tax, that's the one that I was talking to you about. This is only true in a few states. And also, if you don't happen to have your own trust. Anybody worth anything in the United States usually establishes trust. The reason is that families have become nuclear. So you don't know what the other person is thinking. So the parents, often my generation, for example, they said, well, it is best that we decide how this money will be distributed among our uh, children and grandchildren 
and they just set it up codify it and then uh, you know that just gets executed once they pass on that's what happens so this stuff about um, inheritance tax 56% all that stuff you know it's it's in some small states and again like i said that is more the exception than the rule that is you default on everything you are extremely wealthy and you don't leave a will you don't have a trust established these are all bs guys nobody does these kinds of things it costs only 250 dollars so it's set one up you you sit with a lawyer for an hour or so they tell them what your family structure is what your properties are you put those properties in the trust and you just have a succession formula like after me who after you know somebody else who and so on and so forth that's it simple and it just registered in the state and the state has that thing once one of the family members passes the trust automatically starts executing what happens after that he wasn't satisfied with that outrageous remark mr pitroda starts making some racist comments about people in india from various regions and he's saying one looks like this one looks like this i don't know if that was the right way to describe it india has been a pluralistic country for thousands of years there were many other examples he could have given why this one so somewhere there is a, some sort of a plan to try and you know make things outrageous make outrageous statement make people for people to sit up and take notice is it possible that congress is seeing its own rank and file not show up at the booths and therefore they want to shock them and and see if that would make them to go to the booths i don't know because i am thinking that whatever is rhetoric is this is actually you know sinking them deeper into the hole why would they do that well here is the other one ratlam candidate another bizarre poll promise he says that if you have two wives then each one would get a financial aid of 1 lakh so what are you saying that people should have polygamy it's banned in hinduism you know that right okay so he means somebody else well hello uniform civil code maharashtra congress chief nana patole sparks a row he says ram darbar will be established in that place it is not lord ram's idol there it is a child form of ram and he goes on to say it will be purified by shankaracharyas and so on and so forth guys this is very far fetched the temple is already there built pranapratishtha has already happened there is no need to do anything more you just go there worship ram lala and feel sanctified feel you know you will feel the energy and that's what you need to take back from there that's my personal view and here is the other interesting thing mr adhir randan choudhary which who i think is going to lose this time from west bengal he says <laughs> Indians are Mongolians and N type. So he is simplifying what Tam Pitroda said. I am not going to dignify it by going into the details. Proto Australoids, Mongoloids, guys, this is all you know. It's just getting way too descriptive, and you know, it's just just not on. If you ask me, the simple explanation that I can think of is those who work in the sun. they are going to have a darker pigment because you need to darken your skin to protect yourself from skin cancer and those who don't work out in the sun are going to have a fairer skin even in a uh, in a southern family the women folk who don't go to work have a slightly lighter skin that's it pigment is what determines this in in trying to go and make all these outrageous statements is just not on in my opinion Congress is South Goa candidate goes one step further he says that indian constitution was forced on goa you know 1497 or 1498 vasco da gama landed in portugal and you know who guided him there was a shipman there was a massive ship that was uh, anchored in uh, madagascar and this man vasco da gama was trying to look for india and when he landed in madagascar somebody pointed it out to him there was a ship three times the size of his ship said this ship is going back to india you can just follow him and you will reach there and, and the, the ship owner was his name was chandan and he was the one who was actually trading spices back and forth so this is how actually the last leg of vasco da gama took and and these guys just go on you know emitting nonsense Yeah, <laughs> Prime Minister Nehru said Goa, which became a state in 1987, will decide its own destiny. But that did not happen. Well, in 61, it was annexed, and I think it was a union territory for some time. Because so you had Goa, Daman, and Diu. Even today, I think each one has a separate 
uh, you know, seat, MP seat, and they all, uh, you know, go to polls almost at the same time, if I remember correctly. Karnataka CM Siddharamaya couldn't be left far behind. He said that he would reserve an amount of 4,000 to 5,000 crores for the welfare of minority community. Pretty soon in your state, the Hindus are going to become the minority community. You will then reserve it for them. This is all, you know, there is no money. First of all, these guys have managed to bankrupt Karnataka. What little money the BJP government had left, these guys have already completely bankrupted it. And, and now they are talking about giving even more. Where is the money? I am also hearing that they came to power um, saying 40% commission. Now these people are charging over 50%. Who is going to execute any project? They are just going to take the project and show it as executed, give the cuts and pocket the money. Congress leader Mahendra Pratap Singh's remarks on the 2019 Pulwama attack. It was a jumla. Nobody was killed, just a drama. I explained to you in a previous slide what happened, right? So we can safely ignore this. Indranil Rajguru says, Raga is better than Mahatma Gandhi and he also referred to Mahatma Gandhi as Lucha. I mean, you may have reservations about a certain person, but to try to, you know, give them, demean them, it's just not on. So somehow, somewhere... You know, this is the, if you are, if you want to uh, equate it to a Mumbai expression, it is Satkela. Somebody's thing has gone, uh, the Congress has lost its axis is all I can say. Here is Supriya's, I think it is Srinath, yeah, it could be, he might not be, it might be silent, it could be Srinath, it's okay. Stirred controversy by expressing sympathy for the 29 Naxals killed in an encounter with the BSF in Chhattisgarh's Kanker. Her martyr remark for the Naxals kicked up another storm. Now, this is the very, very interesting one. Leader of opposition and Congress veteran Vichay Vadettivar says that the former Mumbai ATS chief Heman Karkare was killed by an RSS affiliated cop and not by terrorist Ajmal Kasab during the 26 11 terror attack. If my recollection is correct, Heman Karkare was one of the first responders to what was happening in the railway station. And I think as soon as they came in, they were waiting for them. And everybody was shot down, almost gunned down immediately. It wasn't just Kasab. There were a bunch of people alive at that point of time. So that's what I think happened. So this is just getting a little too outrageous for me. And uh, you, if we keep going on, and we are still at the, uh, you know, just a day before the fourth round, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. I don't know how many more bloopers these people are going to commit and how many more seats that they are going to lose by making these kind of off-the-cuff loose statements. It's only harming them. It's not helping them. I hope somebody tells them that or because they won't realize the amount of damage that is, this has done to them until they get the results on the 4th of June. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications. Namaskar.